Welcome back. Whether it's a gluten, weed, or egg allergy, or just because of the carbs, many folks have banished bread from their diet. But now, a new product is on the market. We'll allow you to reintroduce bread back into your life, and here to tell us all about it is the founder and CEO of Life Bread, Kale and Jurian. Hi, Kale. Hello, hey. how are you? How are you? Oh, super excited to be here. <laughs> Very excited. Thanks. We're excited to hear all about Life Bread. I'm excited to tell you all about it. So let's let's have it. Let's go. <laughs> well, um, Life Bread is what bread is supposed to taste like. Okay. Uh, we set forward in creating a gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, peanut-free, oh non-GMO bread. But wait, we don't use yeast, leveling agents, or anything or any types of chemicals whatsoever in this bread. But yet wow. we've been able to harness good taste. And I can mm. attest to that. You can attest to that, I've right? I had some before. <laughs> I had it's so some. good. Excellent. I've had some yeah. in we too. Said, <laughs> we, we set forward. We had we had a mission statement. Number one right. is it should be frictionless. It should look like bread mm -hmm. and feel like bread. Correct. Number two, it should, we should try to attack as many of the eight top allergies out there today. Of course. Number three, it should provide a health benefit. Right. I know, it's mm -hmm. bread. <laughs> How can right? it be healthy? Right. Well, we've aimed to do that. And most importantly, last but not least, it had to taste amazing. It had to have taste. Wow. Mm -hmm. So we feel that there are no sacrifices when it comes to a healthy, great tasting bread, and that's life bread. So let's take a trip back to memory lane. How did this all start? Oh, I'd say it was two years in the making, two mm. long years in the mm -hmm. making, but wow. it was worth it. Year one was all science. Right. When you take 20 all natural or ingredients, uh, all natural or ingredient, uh, uh, ingredients and try to make something like this that tastes amazing, right. it, it takes a long time. Of course it does. There's a lot yeah. of science behind sure. it. Mm -hmm. Specifically, we're not using yeast right. or gluten or chemicals or mm -hmm. agents. Um, that was the hardest part about it, sure. but, uh, but we were able to do it. The, the second year was to take a culinary art, the mm -hmm. culinary art, mm -hmm. right. chefs out there, right. take that culinary art and really refine it to a great tasting consumer bread. So we looked at everything meticulously around taste, tone, texture, pliability, applicability. It had to be perfect. Right. So are you a baker or tell us about yourself? Well, I am uh, I'm passionate about health yeah. and yeah. about being healthy. Okay. Now, I, I hope to be in as great shape as Geraldo someday, <laughs> oh, no. but, okay. um, but I'm passionate about innovation, okay. about thinking differently mm -hmm. and thinking outside the box. Right. Um, I'm also passionate about making a difference, mm -hmm. and I feel that if I can make a difference, then I'm justifying my existence here. I believe that Life Bread can, can change uh, people's life. Right. I really do. Mm -hmm. What has been the reaction from people that either used it or read about it, about like oh, bread. it's been uh, it's been humbling to, uh, to to tell you first. It's right, been humbling. It's been amazing. The the feedback has been just wonderful. Mm. We've been called innovative and cutting edge, mm. the holy grail of bread. <laughs> yes, yeah, by right? fourth yes. and fifth generation bakers. Right, wow. These are folks that you know Doing extend years, family to right? family to family, sure. and uh, and they're and they're trying this, and they simply cannot believe. Wow. How it tastes for everything that's not right. in it, and for all the health benefits it does pr uh, provide. Wow. So everything from executive chefs to hotels, mm -hmm. universities, yeah. right. medical professionals, athletes, athletes looking to right. get an edge. Right. It's not just bookends. Yep. It's not just something to hold the taste together. It's it not. is the taste. So tell us, we're buddies. We know how to get it. But how can everyone else get it? So uh, you will be able to go on our website, okay. www.lifebread. L i f e b r e d. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dot com okay. and be able to order from there. I would also say that uh, if you're at a restaurant, right. uh, ask for it. You, you deserve good taste, good healthy bread. Where do you see Life Bread, let's just say the next five years or so, where do you see it? Um, I, I, honestly, you, yes. know, you, 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 you aim for the moon and you shoot mm -hmm. for the moon. Um, I want it to be, uh, I envision Life Bread to be a staple. I, I envision it to be a staple in everybody's home, mm -hmm. in restaurants, in universities. Um, there is no reason why you wouldn't substitute your normal bread right. with Life Bread, right? Yeah. We, I have a saying, uh, the first thing you do when you take a piece of bread out of a bag is you usually put something on it for taste, right? right? Yeah. With Life Bread, what you're putting on it should complement the taste that we put in it. Yeah, and that's what I loved about each each pea. Each loaf had a different, distinct flavor. And I could pair 
so many different things. Like, there's so many recipes that are going on in my head right now. <laughs> I can't wait to try it at home. Like, desserts. I mean, and this is great for kids for school lunches because they're, they're getting nutrition in the bread as Absolutely. well as what you're filling in between the bread. Absolutely. Uh, now, instead of uh, a wheat-based bread, right. you, know, you can't, school systems will serve, they have to serve nutrition on the plate, sure. right. but they can't force the children to eat it. I will tell you, even picky children love life yeah. bread. They mm. absolutely love life bread. And I know for a fact they go to many, many households or friends right. that have young children and they right. don't eat anything. Right. right. And, uh, and they absolutely love it because of the taste. Yeah. And I'm also sure it'll be in included in some of the diets that will come out of the diets, a paleo diet or anything like that will also be included into something like that. It's a great question. We, you know, we've really carved a new market here. Right. Um, you know, I've looked, I looked at all types of bread, paleo and gluten, Ezekiel right. breads and so on and so forth. Uh, we really set the bar different and we really create a new category because of the taste right. and the health benefits. The allergen foods that are out there today, mm. um, they, they're not good. They're not meant to provide taste to the people who are suffering right. from allergens. Right. Uh, they, they're, their repertoire is already really, really small mm -hmm. as it right. is. They don't mm -hmm. have much to choose from. Right. Um, and we believe that we can bring relief, we can bring taste back into their life, right. we can enjoy foods uh -huh. again. Um, and, and improve your overall health at the absolutely, same time. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Kale, I, I, good luck. Thank and you so much. Wonderful. I, I, I know it'll do wonderful. I yeah. Know thank, well. thank you very much for having me on. I, I really can't wait to get it. in the kitchen. <laughs> okay. <Thank you. laughs> okay, guys, still to come, we'll introduce you to an amazing woman who is bringing other amazing and talented women together, all for a great cause. That and more when Healthy Lifestyle returns in just a moment. Stay tuned.